Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you all are doing good. So today's video topic is if this settings option is not opening or it is not working in Windows 10. In this video, we are going to fix this. So let's start the video. First, right click on the taskbar, then click on task manager. After that, click on more details. Now in this process tab, you have to search for an application or a service called Windows Explorer. So right click on this service, then click on restart. So you have to restart this service. After that, cut this window and check. Now move on to the next step. If you are still getting the same issue, press window key and R together. So this will open the run command like this. Now you have to type this command, then click on OK. So this will open control panel. After that, select small icons. After that, click on troubleshooting. Then click on view all. Now you have to run the troubleshooter for windows update and this system maintenance. So click on windows update. Then click on next. So this will run the troubleshooter for windows update. After completing this process, run the troubleshooter for system maintenance. So click on it. Then click on next. Run the troubleshooter for windows update and system maintenance. After that, cut this window and restart your system. Move on to the next step if you are still getting the same issue. Again, right click on the taskbar, then click on task manager. After that, click on this file option, then click on run new task. Now type CMD. Tick this option, then click on OK. So this will open command prompt. Now you have to type a few commands to repair windows corrupted files. So the first command will be type this command, then press enter. And this process will take around five to 10 minutes to complete. So the verification process has been started. So you have to complete this process. And after that type the next command, type this command carefully, then press enter. So these two commands will help you to restore your windows corrupted files. And this command will also take 10 to 15 minutes to complete. After completing both the commands, cut this window and restart your system. Now move on to the next step. If you are still getting the same issue, again, press window key and R together to open run command. Now type control, then click on OK. So this will open the control panel. After that, click on this recovery option. Then click on open system restore, click on it. So this option will help you to restore your system to the back date to fix this issue. So click on this option, then click on next. And this will show you the restore points you have in your system. Click on this option. So this will show you more restore points. So select the latest restore point you have in your system. Select the latest one, then click on next. So this will restore your PC to the back date. Okay. And in the most cases, this will fix the issue. So you can try this method as well. System restore. The next step you can try is if you're still getting the same issue, log in with a different user account. But if you don't have any other user account in your system, in that case, you have to create one. I will show you how to create a new user account in Windows 10. Open control panel again. And here you will see this option user accounts. So click on this option and this option will help you to create a new user account in Windows 10. So you can use this method as well. Now, if you tried everything, but still getting the same issue, the final thing you can do is reset your system. I will show you how to reset Windows 10 without losing any data. So press window key and R together and this will open the run command. Now type this command, then click on OK. This will open this kind of window. Now there are two options, keep my files and remove everything. So you have to go for the first option, keep my files. So in this process, all your data, all your documents in your desktop or in your other partition will remain safe, but the software you have in your system will remove. So this will keep your data, but delete your softwares. So go for the first one, keep my files. And this is the final method you can try. I already created a full video about how to reset Windows 10. 
so i will put that video link in description box so you can check out that video as well so these are the few steps you can apply to fix this issue this is all for the video thank you